This is Susan Bush for SGTV. August 6, 2009 marks the opening of Nicole Strasberg's new exhibition, Air, Earth, Fire, Water. I first met Nicole in the 1980s. We worked together at a small frame shop selling paintings by local artists and helping customers pick out the perfect frame. At that time, Nicole was finishing her fine arts degree at UC Santa Barbara. Almost 20 years later, we started working together again at Sullivan Goss. She found her role as an artist, and I found mine as her dealer. That's Nicole on the right. For a landscape painter like Nicole, California has offered up some remarkable opportunities for painting in the last couple of years. As a result, she has created one of the most interesting exhibitions of her career. Clouds are the main focus of the paintings that form the air element of this exhibit. Nicole is as skilled at painting skies clearing from a winter storm as she is at capturing the vibrancy of a summer day on Santa Cruz Island. The one cloud in this painting, Island Hop, is endearing in its solitude. It is a really joyful painting. For Nicole, the limitless patterns and shifting forms of clouds in the western sky provide an endless source of inspiration. Beyond the abstract compositions they suggest are the moods they evoke. Awe, reverie, curiosity, or inspiration. But the air paintings are always anchored by one thing, the earth. The paintings grouped under the earth element herald a new direction for Nicole in terms of subject matter. In particular, this is her first extended study of trees seen up close and personal. In this painting, smooth white trunks gracefully divide the picture while rooting the composition firmly in the earth. A leafy-lined path at the Elwood Preserve leads us into the background and towards the creek, where the birch trees grow. Below the trees is the grass that moves and sways in a breeze made real by Nicole's countless vivid brushstrokes. Again, she gets up close and personal. Notice all the colors in the grass that her artist's eye picks up. Nicole immerses herself in her environment to get every detail. Seeing her alone in the vast landscape, absorbed by its beauty and determined to pass along its secrets, I am reminded a little of the French artist Corot. A personal view can be every bit as beautiful as the grand vista. Fire is not often the subject of paintings, but Nicole has found her own artful way to immortalize this element that, while devastating to humans and their livelihoods, has an important place in nature. The grass and the trees need to burn to resurrect and flourish stronger than before. Fire can be wild and frightening, but with her brush, Nicole captures a dynamism and beauty in this elemental force of nature. This is one of my favorites. A beacon of hope, a tanker plane high in the sky is dwarfed by smoke and fire, yet remains undaunted. Fire burns according to the contours of the landscape and the inclinations of the wind, but it is stopped cold by water. Water is the element that gave birth to Nicole's love of landscape painting. It moves and changes like the clouds and indeed reflects them, pooling where the land gives way, defining the landscape with just a glimmer or dominating the picture entirely, a study in power and perpetuity. Water and land dance endlessly in Nicole's paintings, ever mindful of the other's space and always, always moving. That churling motion brings the underwater landscape to the beach, creating the sort of dynamic gesture worthy of a great abstract. Water is the source of life. It makes the trees and grass grow. It evaporates into the air to form clouds. It quenches the fires. Nicole Strasberg has combined all four elements to create an astounding body of work that will affect every viewer in a unique way. Make fine art a part of your life. Nicole Strasberg's exhibition, Air, Earth, Fire, Water, will be on view through November 1st, 2009.